something new I want to share with you, friends. Uh, you're going to like this. A long time coming. There it is. TYM 654. T65 front end loader. HLA snow pusher. Puma snow blower. It's the ground keeping tractor for the suburban farm. Oh, this is awesome. Oh, I love it, I love it, I love it. I'm so glad you guys could join me. We'll do a little quick run through and uh, see what she's got. Uh, oh, this is awesome. Stand by, you're going to love this one. <laughs> Hang on to your hats, here we go. So this is kind of cool because you only have you got one whatever speed you select works both in the same direction as forward and reverse. I uh, got a beautiful uh, front end loader here. We had the tractor equipped with an HLA 1800 snow pusher. Uh, that's a snow blade. You can see way up yonder is the uh, the other blade for it for doing dirt work. Um, Let's go around, we'll do a quick run around. The thing just starts right up, it's amazing. No issues at all. You can hear how quiet the cab was. This is gonna be fun making some videos on. If I don't fall out of the cab in the slippery snow and break my neck. Out of the interior. The controls are nicely placed. Uh, good view. Got a stereo, air conditioning, heat, roof hatch, uh, filtered air for the cabin. She comes with 14928s for the rear tires. Uh, the unit that I picked up is an agricultural lug tire that I wanted on there. Uh, two sets of remotes in the rear. Uh, and here's the blower that we, we got with it. It's a Puma. It's made by uh, Pronovost. Uh, this is a great blower. I know I shouldn't have left that with Snow Park in it. But we haven't had any freezing or thaw at all whatsoever. So you can see everything's brand spanking new. Uh, she just purrs like a kitten. Well, it should, but it's you know, being a brand new. Uh, yeah, what do we got on the front here? I can't tell what the front side. Oh, 9520s. These are all R1 tires. There's the front end loader. Now this unit sat outside for a while. I bet you it's both been sitting outside for a year. So it, uh, it's a TYM's Korean made tractor. 
Um, the pro, the blower was made in Quebec. And this thing's nice. It's got all the bells and whistles on it. You know, for a homeowner, for basically a non uh, a non uh, commercial blower. Um, yeah, so I just wanted to give you guys a quick rundown on it. See if. Uh, screens in it, radiator uh, screens in the intercooler. Uh, so there's some pretty decent stuff going on there. Well, there you go. There's the first mistake I made. I'm telling you guys, it's turbocharged. Deutz four-cylinder. I think it's 2.9 uh, liter. I'd have to look it up to verify it. I just love the way this thing runs. She runs like a top. I did about uh, an hour and a half for to uh, work with it the other day. And, uh, there was nothing that you could see as far as the fuel level going down, so I'm going to assume it's pretty decent. Pretty decent on mileage. Yeah, so we'll be uh, we'll be doing some yard work with it, and uh, gonna do actually a lot of yard work with it. I don't know if you can hear me over the noise noise of the motor, um, but she's a brute. I love it. So you can see all the work that I was doing out here. I don't know if you can see, I'm getting a little bit of snow blindness going on, pushing some snow around. We got another big storm coming. I'm trying to dig out the, uh, trying to dig out the works for the, uh, uh, for the, for the wood cutting. I'm going to run it low on wood, so I'm going to have to dig this out. To get something going on here. It's just been so friggin' cold. God, or I'm a pussy, I don't know. One of the two. So there's a quick rundown on the tractor. Uh, we hope it gives us the service that, that we're expecting out of it. Um, let's get this. We do love the Massey. Don't get me wrong. Uh, there's nothing wrong with the Massey, but it's trapped in Ontario. So there it is, T Y M 654. Uh, so it gives you an idea what we're looking at. Yeah. And I hope it gives us many, many years of service. I hope to pass this on to Jake and his boy when I pass or my grandson I don't know don't know how it'll work out if I'm gone I won't know I guess but there it is anyway uh, 
somebody asked me to do in the first video. I'll get a, a camera mount so I can do some driving around with it because I can't do it right now. Um, it's just impossible to do it in one hand driving this beast. So what's going to happen is it will be a... Uh, it's going to be a couple of videos coming up. But I just wanted... To, everybody was asking about the tractor. Jake wanted to see what it looked like. So there it is. I'll do a quick more run around the interior so he knows what's going on. So the, the 654 has got good access to it. It's got a, basically a one step up into the cab. Um, tilt steering, power steering. Uh, lots of headroom. When you get in here and sit down, there's all kinds of headroom. That's like got to be 12 inches above my head. Uh, you can see the AC controls, vents, speakers, 12 volt outlet. Now, stupid me, I'm going to buy a, a beacon for it. I went and bought a 12 volt outlet. And I didn't even notice it was in here until I was reading the manual. So, um, the dash cluster, there's no real gauges on this thing. It's up for attack. But it has, you know, what you want, your warnings and all that stuff. So, uh, everything's there that you need. So, automatic glow plugs. So, it, it takes care of that. Uh, got great mirrors for, for backing up. Um, lots of view down at the tires. Lots of views at your implement. Um, to be able to do your rows. So, there you go, Jake. You wanted to see the interior. Um, tilt wheel. There. So, you get in, set her up. It's, uh, Stereo is okay. It only plays French music, though. I think it's broken. I'm not sure what's going on with that. Yeah. That's about it. So, there you go. There's the new tractor. So, everybody was asking about it. And that's the first rundown on it. And we'll go from there. Um, we'll see. Uh, we'll see how it operates. We're supposed to be getting a storm in two days. So we'll see what that looks like. Uh, right now, I just got stuff all terrible in here. Uh, we had to move out a lot of stuff in a hurry when we moved in. So uh, the dumpster's coming. We're going to do a big dumpster deal. Clean this place up good. We didn't get all of it done from last year before the snow came. So, And I mean, look at that. There's no shortage of snow. We got lots. Um, but I got to get the wood operation back up and going. So, uh, maybe I'll cut some wood tomorrow. We'll see what happens. Anyway, thanks uh, thanks again for uh, stopping by. This is video number two today. The first one, as you know, was about the Hooglu 28 gauge. And it's about the new piece. I mean, I'm pretty happy about it. I'm pretty stoked. Uh, I'm finally going to get a piece of equipment under me that uh, is going to do some work for us. Uh, I miss the Massey dearly. Uh, the little Ferguson 30 there, 35. Uh, I didn't make it out of Ontario. Uh, I don't think I would have liked to be out in a snowstorm with it because it's got no cab, no heat, no no nothing. Steel seat. <laughs> what are you going to do? I bought this one instead. So, like I said, hopefully, uh, hopefully, um, hopefully does the job for us. Anyway, uh, thanks again uh, for tuning in. And I look forward to making these guys some videos um, with the new uh, 654 by TYM, South Korea. I don't know. No such thing as an American-made tractor anymore. So we're Canadian-made or North American-made. So we got to go. You got to do what you got to do. And uh, oh, an interior light. Shut up. Would you look at that? All righty then. We'll see you soon. Peace out. Please subscribe. Uh, hit the bell for notifications of videos. Please like the videos. It's so important that you guys like the videos. If you take the time to watch them, you can take the time to hit the like button. And if you don't like them, then don't like them. Hit the don't like button. And if you care to leave a uh, little sentence or a line or a question, please feel free. And uh, We'll go ahead. I'm going to do a little, I, I, this is no paid or nothing. This is nothing that was done. We bought the, uh, we bought the tractor from LJ Patterson 
uh, head office, I think, is in Miramichi, New Brunswick. Um, the guy I bought it was at Beer, their Beersford location, which is just outside of Bathurst. And the name was, uh, his name was Andrew. I can't remember his last name. Bad, bad for names. Anyway, Andrew fixed me up. And uh, he got the tractor here. He delivered it for free. Um, so, um, the only things that I could complain about is with this tractor. Uh, what didn't I like? It was something that was bugging me. I can't remember. Anyway, I don't know. I'll figure it out. Anyway, thanks again for looking in. I've been telling you goodbye, so goodbye. Peace out. Ring the bell. Hit the like button. Subscribe. And watch the channel. We'll see you soon. Bye now.